Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Edit Place. And today is all about sound design. Yes, yeah, sound design is one of the things I've been focusing on for the past year or two to really elevate videos to the next level. Uh, for YouTube videos, obviously, they're not always used, but anytime I do a funny skit or some creative intro, film reels, a lot of times I'll use it there. But definitely, if you're doing any sort of narrative, commercials, film, short films, whatever it is, sound design is crucial, but you don't always have the ability to record on production sound or hire expensive Foley artists. So I wanna show you a awesome piece of software today that is going to make this so much easier. Let's dive into it. Alrighty, everybody. So for today's example, we're gonna be using my favorite movie of all time, Blade Runner 2049. Now you can see that, haha, <laughs> got you YouTube, won't be able to copyright it because I took out the audio. So we are going to replace the sound design for this little scene right here. Now I am not going to spend hours and hours as the real sound designers, Foley artists and mixers would do to literally add sound to every single frame and moment of this, uh, of this scene here, we're just gonna go over kind of the basics and all you can do with the piece of software that I wanna show you. So today, we are going to be using Soundly. Now, there's a lot of places that you can get sound effects libraries from, and uh, a lot of them are really good libraries. But the reason that Soundly stands out is how you actually get it into your project. So normally, you would go to a website wherever you have a library, you find the sounds you like, then you have to you know, license them, download them, go to your downloads folder, then move them to whichever project folder you want, organize them in there, and you know that takes a lot of time, especially when you're just trying to add sound effects. And so for here, uh, let's see, let's find our first kind of spot here. All right, so first I want a sound of people walking up. And so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to say group walking. And we can see that pretty much for every uh, search here, we get a bunch of different results. Now, of course, I should mention that if you download Soundly, there are free sounds in here that you can use totally for free. Uh, but I do have the subscription. And so it's, uh, what, $15 a month to get access to absolutely everything. And there are so many sounds, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you know, this isn't 100% free, but you can still give it a shot uh, for free and download a bunch of stuff. So let's start listening here. I mean, see how it's organized. So uh, this is on asphalt, which technically they're running more on like mud and trash and everything. But I do kind of like the little rumble that this one has. And here's the best part. So once you find a sound you like, you can either select the entire thing or you can select just a uh, brief moment that you like. And then all you do is drag it right into your NLE. So that's right. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to license everything uh, individually. You can literally just drag and drop into your timeline. Now, if you're wondering about where the file actually goes, of course, that's where you can go into your preferences, and that's where you basically go and select your uh, storage location. So you can create a, a folder for each individual project before you start dragging and dropping. I'd recommend doing that. Um, or you can just create one giant like Soundly folder, and that's fine too. And it's okay if it sounds super like prominent right now. Uh, that's sound mixing, which we'll do later on. All right, and so now we got that big thud of uh, that giant door suction cup thing. So now we'll search thud. And again, this is where normally a professional Foley artist would really take their time and um, do something epic. But I just want to use this uh, to kind of prove to you that you can get it done especially for your short films um, and kind of add your own sound effects without having 
uh, to need all that stuff if you can't have access to it. And then that is basically a like table saw on a thing. Let's see if that's long enough for the cut. Even though that kind of trails off there and sounds a little bit bad, that works for this example. Um, by the way, if you don't grab enough of the audio, the only unfortunate thing is since that's all you imported, that is all you have. You can actually extend it here. If I wanted to grab more of this audio, I'd have to go back and reselect a new selection, drag that in, and replace the clip. Um, so you can obviously shorten, but you cannot... Um, change it after the fact to extend it. And by the way, instead of just searching, you also can favorite sounds if you really like it. So I could star this right here, and then it goes into my starred folder to save for later. You can add new collections, and Soundly has their own collections that you can jump in here and also search through if you are have if you have no idea what you want to even search for, what keywords you want to use and you just want to go by different uh, kind of collections and everything, you can jump in here, as well as their add-ons and news section. You'll always find new uh, collections popping up in here. And again, some of them are free to just kind of use and install, and then others are created by other artists that you can purchase. So like if you want wing sounds at 100 bucks, so that's going to be super professional and... Uh, Bumblebee 15 like so it ranges completely because the people who created these it's basically like a marketplace so pretty cool place to support some uh, good old Foley artists anyway let's get back to this grab this and then I know I'm gonna need a punch and maybe even like a grunt or something right at impact there I'm just going to uh, layer this guy Alrighty, so I think you guys get the idea at this point. Uh, so now what you can do is, now that you have all of your effects, I know I didn't go through this whole scene. Obviously, I underestimated how much sound goes into uh, a scene like this. So the point is you can get explosions, you can get gun sounds um, and movement all the way down to the finer stuff like clothing moving around, swings, whooshes. I definitely recommend using this for different, uh, you know, whooshes and risers and things like that because you can get really nice rumbles and uh, kind of ambience kind of added to your scores and it just helps it blend into the film that much more. But anyway, once you get all of your different sounds, now it's time to mix them together, which you can do a bunch of different ways. Uh, the This is going to be the really, really, really dumbed down basic version. If you are working sound design or anything, I apologize. But uh, this will at least be kind of the the very first kind of step to learning this stuff. It is simply just, uh, you know, take everything. And again, you don't want to drown out any score or dialogue going on. But you can see what you want prominent. So I want that voice to be prominent but it's a bit too loud, uh, so I can see that's on four. So I'm just going to use my mixers. You can, of course, grab the volume thing here. The only hard part is that can become really, I don't know, uh, tedious and just kind of finite. Sometimes if I have multiple tracks on the same line and one just needs adjusted, obviously I'll use the single clip volume control, but most of the time I'll just try to keep um, my tracks in order. I'll even name them, label them, uh, color them differently just so I can have stuff for like, oh, this is for uh, bodies and clothes, this is for hits, this is for cinematic wishes, risers, whatever. Um, and then that way I can use my mixers. It's just a lot easier. All right, and that line one hit is a bit too hot as well. So... That mix was a little bit easier than some others I've worked with, but uh, I think you guys get the point. So yeah, after this, add in your score, add dialogue, music, uh, cinematic, wishes, risers, whatever have you. Um, but this is an awesome way to easily add 
some sound design, step up your production game, and yeah. And there you guys have it. Hopefully you got something out of today's video. If you did, definitely hit that like button and subscribe for more content to come. Trying to get up to at least around three times a week here. Uh, so definitely ramping up the videos for this channel. Huge thanks to everyone who's gotten it to this point. Again, you can follow my... Again, if you're into filmmaking beyond just editing and especially the latest technology, you should go subscribe to my main channel. Of course, all this stuff is down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.